Good afternoon, everyone. I wanted to bring to you this bit of information to bring clarity and precision around note taking and the role of occupational therapy students like yourself. So far, you've been proceeding really well and logically through today's lesson. Um, but the example I want to share with you is um, a situation that's happened here with us um, at university with students on placement. There are really essential do's and don'ts when it comes to note taking, record keeping, and you've gone over a few of those already. And topics like confidentiality and data protection relate to the information that you write down on a piece of paper or type on a Word document or store on a database. Uh, it has to be done within the context of the Data Protection Act 1998, the General Data Protection Regulations 2018. We need to use information for the purpose for which it's meant to be. And information about an individual, by and large, belongs to that individual. Your record is a legal, legally binding document, and it can be used in a court of law. You will be in breach of confidentiality if you leave information either on a scrap piece of paper or in a diary with people's information like their name, address, date of birth, if you leave it in a common area. A common area where members of the public and other people can access that information. You will be in breach. We've had a student who had to be warned several times about their particular notepaper, notebook. So many of you will go out on placement, you'll have a notebook, you'll sit on ward rounds, you'll go out on home visits and you'll jot information down in your notebook. And you might leave it in a common place. It should be on your possession at all times. At all times. It should not be... Um, it should not be left in a public place like a canteen, the common um, lounge area where patients might be sat. It shouldn't be left to go back to. Ideally, small enough to be put into your pocket, that would be fine. Um, but equally, if you are going to make notes about an individual, you need to redact i.e. get a black marker pen and delete, cover the information that alludes to that private individual, member of the public or patient that you were making the original notes on. We all make notes, but do not leave your notebook or information in a public place outside of maybe your office that you work in. I think I've got a message across clear enough. Your practice placements educators will ask you to leave placement. If you do this, you will get asked to leave. It's a, and then it becomes a, um, a fitness to practice issue. Okay, all the best now. And thank you, Dr. Dan, for allowing me to um, just share some space with our learners. Bye for now.